Hello, and how is everyone today? I know it has been a couple weeks since I've made a YouTube video, and sorry, no acapella today. But what I will be discussing is Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Here's the thing. I want it to be more of an actual spin-off, and it's really not feeling that way. It really is feeling like a cash grab, which I am really sad about, but hey, I can live with that. And the other thing, because I was discussing this with a friend of mine, David Thompson. Hey, David. So I'd mention you. <laughs> and we have decided that what is wrong with the show, well, one of the things that's wrong with the show is that the lead, Alice, and the lead bad female, the Red Queen, were miscast. What we think is that the actresses that play them should switch Yes, <laughs> because from the looks of it, Alice comes off more villainous. I'm not sure exactly how to fully explain what I'm getting at, but it's just that she is a little too hard charging, and she doesn't come off as deserving it. Her, her particular attitude, while the Red Queen comes off as, how can I put it, superficially mean. I don't want to compare them to the other Once Upon a Time characters, but let's just say Regina you get the feeling that her vengeful actions have some weight to them. While with the Red Queen, it's just a little too... I don't want to use the, the term cartoony, but I have to. It's, it's just no real <laughs> fear. You, you you don't you don't get the feeling that she's frightening anyone. And she does feel more of the hero type. It's just as hate hate to say it. That's just the feeling I get. I'm sure other people have different feelings. So that's just my personal opinion. Um but other than that I like the show. I I like um, the way they are going through Wonderland, even though I wish they would flesh it out more. And of course, the big problem right now is where is the Hatter? Because he was the only reason, well, apart from the Queen of Hearts, obviously, that I was interested in watching the show to see what was going to be going on. And here are my questions, which I guess should have been put on Twitter, but I don't care. Uh, so, this is just a joking one. The, 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 the genie. So, that's supposed to be Robin Williams, right? J j just saying. And, um, Apart from that, my uh, my other big question was, so is Alice from our Earth in the past, or is she from an alternate Earth? You know, like the way Frankenstein, Dr. Frankenstein was from an alternate Earth. Just, just wondering. I mean, it would be interesting that there are alternate Earths, only because, from what has been noticed in the Once universe, 
there isn't really any actual time traveling unless you count um, being held in suspended suspended animation in stasis and then coming into a future but as far as going into the past you usually don't find that so it's just one of the many things that was on my mind about that particular show <sighs> uh, sorry for boring anyone who does not watch the show or could care less about the Once Upon a Time universe. By the way, enjoying Once Upon a Time, the whole Neverland story arc is interesting. I'm not saying it doesn't have its problems, being that I am a fan of Peter Pan and I don't like seeing him as the villain, but hey. <laughs> and also, what, what they did to Tink. And and where's Wendy? And, and, and anyway, I am out of here. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Later, people.